My name is Marie-Josée. Um, I live in Montreal. I'm from Montreal. I was born in Montreal. Um, I studied dance. I actually did dance pretty much all my life. Um, I also did figure sk skating and uh, synchronized swimming and all kinds of other sports. But mainly at 14, I, at 14, I started to do more dance. Um, I did my college degree in dance, a little bit by accident, because I started in science and art, like uh, painting and drawing. And then I was dancing on the side, and then uh, I heard and I was seeing those girls training all day in dance, and I was like, hey, I could do that as well. <laughs> so when electricity and science started to become too hard, at some point I was like, hmm, maybe I'll go and study dance instead. So I continue um, in dance and science and eventually dropped the science and just I finished in art. And then I wanted to go work for Club Med. And I had applied to be a photographer and they hired me to be a choreographer. So I ended up being choreographer in Club Med and I did that for a year and a half. It was fun. I, and I really enjoyed um, having a theater for me with a sound engineer, a light engineer, a person doing my costume. And I was like, oh, that's what I want to do in life. I want to be a choreographer and I want to build shows. And I had envisioned like big shows and <laughs> I had in my in mind something very big. Then um, coming back from Club Med, I decided, OK, that's it. I want to study dance. So I went and uh, did um, I actually wanted to study circus and I wanted to become um, stage director for circus. So I went and applied at this National Circus School right across the street and they, I did all the process and I present my stuff and then they asked me, so which apparatus you want to do in circus? I was like, no, no, I want to be a circus director. And they were like, we're not training circus director here, wrong place. I was like, oh. So I ended up going to the dance school instead where I ended up doing my creation degree in dance. So that's a three years a university degree where you study all kinds of, uh, you study music, you study um, Pilates and way how to hold yourself, how to present yourself, how to dance, but also how to put people on stage, how to use the music well. Uh, you also study lots of um, history of dance. So that gives you lots of ideas of what was done before and what has never been done and what could be done. And so it's very inspiring and very uh, nourishing for the brain to know about all of those things that have been done and it was a very creative process and I had one year to actually build a show and I think I can say that was the best show I have ever done yet just because I have 12 dancers that were there we, we had full day to train and to build a show and and I convinced people to do the live music for me it was a professional musician that uh, agreed to do the show for me even so I was a student at the moment and it was a great show. I see a, a reporter of the newspaper every time he sees me. He's like, when are you doing a new show? And I'm like, oh. So now um, after that, I started my company. I did shows uh, from 2002 to mainly 2006. I did a few creations. Um, and it was, I was using theater, dance, uh, live music, and circus artists. And when Cirque du Soleil saw my piece, they liked it. And because I was using circus, they figured, hmm, that person is used to work with acrobats. And they needed people to work uh, with the acrobat downstairs to help them how to move around their apparatus. Uh, so I started to work with uh, Cirque du Soleil as, a, as an artistic coach. So my job at the time was to create some small pieces, but around the trapeze or around the teeter board, you know, tick, 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 tick. So I was doing, uh, that was really fun because it was creative and it was um, a uh, good uh, challenge. And at some point they asked me to do assistant choreographer for a new creation that is uh, now called Kusa. it's on the market. It was in 2007 and uh, I accepted. And then after that I got off an offer to work full time at the studio and now I'm overviewing the specific training. That means all the artists that come here to go replace other artists on Cirque du Soleil shows. Um, so I sometimes I coach them myself or I would hire other coach because sometimes they're clowns or they're uh, singers and they, need, they have specific needs. Sometimes they need to learn about acting or about uh, um, voice or different things. So I, I hired the good people that could help them in the specific need they have. Um, in parallel to that, now I started to do my MBA. So. Um, I had that idea because I felt I needed uh, to learn new things and to a new challenge and um, 
And also because I come from the art background, I realized that the artists, they don't know much about financing and about uh, um, like making money or how to, when you make money, how to uh, organize your money and have good financing in your company. It's really hard for them. So I was like, okay, I'll go study it myself. So maybe after I could help the artist. And then I discovered that maybe I could also help the business people how to become artists or how to become more creative. Because I think there's lots of relationship between how you are on stage when you need to catch the attention of thousands of people looking at you. The way you present yourself is very similar to when you enter in a room and you need to convince everybody that your product is the best in the world. You need to be confident, you need to know what you're doing, and you need to, to be fully present. And for me, there's a very nice associa association that can be done between business and art. And here in Cirque, we do show business, but in the show business, the first word is the show. And uh, if we don't have a good show, we are not doing business. And I think there's a very good aspect or balance between those two words, between the show and the business. And it's very important to balance both. And so if you don't have a good show, you cannot do business if you're not a good businessman. So uh, I would like to develop more collaboration between those two worlds. But for me, creativity is about going back inside of you, going deep inside of you, being able to connect with who you are and being able to show that to the rest of the world and to let it exist and live. And there's many ways to do that. I mean, but I think the essence is to let your spirit be free and live inside of you. Um, when we, I don't know if you read the Julia Cameron, um, The Artist Way, but that was a reveal for me to start writing and to start um, without thinking and without creating any blocks to just uh, write, write, write. And at some point you discover that channel within you where intuition starts to be more powerful and more present. And then um, I realize now I'm rarely surprised by things in life because I uh, most of the time have an intuition before things happen that, okay, yeah, that happened, yes, I knew. Like, uh, So there's that sense, for me that's creativity, to be in, uh, able to be in contact with that um, inside of me or that we can call it God or we can call it the universe or we can call it intuition or whatever, but for me there's something very strong that is creation. Creativity is also about being able to find an idea or find a way to solve a problem. And that's something that we can use every day, like all the time in our life, because spe especially here in the circus, we have so much demand, last minute demand. So we really need to be creative in finding new space, finding other coach, finding a way to, to tweak the training so it makes it happen in the really fast because uh, they got delayed with the immigration. They're only here for two weeks. We needed to make it happen. So, so for me, that's a, a way of being creative in the day-to-day -day life. Um, I think one thing that is recurrent in my life, but in everybody's life, is working with people. Like we all work with people, and sometimes that can be so beautiful, but also so full of challenge. Because um, I read a book once. Oh, what's the name? I'll I'll try to see if I can. Uh, L'art de la connaissance, I think it, it's a French book, but um, they were talking about how we each live in our own life. It's like if we create our own world and our own glasses and our own way to see the world. And sometimes um, people through those glasses or those way, that way to see the world, they, we each create our some problem for ourselves or some we see something being this way and then we're sure that oh that person uh, doesn't like me or whatever and we create our own little drama where sometimes the other person in front of us never thought that and is not even aware of it so sometimes we create a drama for no reason and one thing that when working with people and a lot of people or groups you often have to face that with people either they have their own drama or they think that you have a drama with them and then it can becomes very complicated um, so in, in facing challenges like that I really try to I think communication is one of the most important thing where to clarify what my intention was what is yours I think that's one way that I try to solve problems when I face them in my work or with the creative process. Like, uh, I think when, when people go through stressful events in their life or at work, sometimes it can become very complicated where 
actually can be also very simple if you remove all those uh, things that are not real, pro real problem, but they're, they're just misunderstanding. I would say uh, breathe, relax, and I think that sometimes we live our life, we're too stressed, we just run everywhere. And a nice discovery in my own life was when I discovered yoga. I'm a yoga instructor now. And for me, that really changed my life because I, I learned how to relax, how to breathe and how to stop. Because sometimes we're just thinking, 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 and we destroy the connection in our brain. And we're, there's no way to be creative because we're just uh, with all those pressure or we're like in the box and the box is getting smaller. And so whew, sometimes we need to destroy the box, relax, breathe. And we need to take some time to not do what we're supposed to. So in order to be more efficient after and more creative and find ideas and to find ideas, I think you need to have that freedom and that space to, to exist first, to breathe in and out, to maybe go to yoga or have a walk or anything that could release the pressure. And then when you have time and space in front of you, I think that's when you can be creative. Like you need to be on stage, you need to be 200% there, like you really need to uh, light up all your body parts and to really um, be at the best you can so and I think that if we try to apply that in our life because it's easy sometimes to go through life and to just check in check out and go do the job blah 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 leave job and um, I think one of the things that the MBA brought me is take the risk go for it ask uh, break the walls I mean uh, make it happen like um, and, and create your own life because sometimes we're victim of life and we're it's not happening to me or we create again those drama but I think there's a way to go through life and to be creative in your own life and to create your own opportunity and to open doors and I mean worst come to worst the door is going to get closed again and you'll go to the next door but I think um, if we can be 100% alive and and do the best we can every day, um, we have more chance to to have a, the life that we're dreaming for. So, so uh, yeah, I would say being at our best every day in our life, like if it's a showtime all the time, or like if you're on stage. Or does that answer the question? <laughs>